Are we willing to be obedient to that which we may not understand? As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts, declares God. It's not about understanding the movements of God in creation. It's about finding some meaningful abandonment and embracing an entirely confident surrender to that which we can't grasp and therefore don't understand. We realize that the vast majority of this thing that we call life and all that makes life grand and massive and terribly exciting is out there in a place that only God understands. And there, we are left without any understanding except that we are perfectly placed and at home more completely than anything this side of eternity. Paul wrote that faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Faith is not about dissection or deductive thinking or rationalization or endeavors designed to rein the infinite into an intellectual corral where it can run itself in predictable circles. It's about knowing that the vast majority of life is surrendered to what we can't know and to God who we can. If we can do this, then when death comes and it moves into the shadows of the deep woods beyond our vision, we can accept it, embrace it, and in time, even cheer it on. And this book was written to help us effectively and meaningfully do that in the midst of our most painful and trying moments.